Hey, everybody. Welcome. It's me again. So uh, I'm Jamie McGlue. I'm an independent candidate for Dublin Bay North. Um, so most people have already voted, but, you know, a few people uh, won't have, you know, because we've still got a bit to go. But um, so I've put up a bunch of stuff already about my position. Main thing, uh, defending free speech, fair borders, full sovereignty, but also talking about a bunch of other things, just wanting to bring honesty to politics, empathy, kind of peacefulness, like setting strong limits, but also, you know, being able to communicate without getting hysterical, you know, um, which mostly the mainstream have been doing, but you know, um, so anyway, um, that's that, but what I'm going to do now is just a bit of music and a bit of poetry. So, um, you know, it's a little bit unorthodox, but you know, I think it's important we can be ourselves. And, um, so, and, you know, in terms of practically, it's just going to convey to my hopes I can convey that, you know, I'm honest. I'm not like just projecting some image or whatever. Like this is me, you know, I'm going to do weird things if it feels natural to me, you know, um, like, uh, yeah, read you some poetry or actually I'm going to make up some poetry. I've got one to read you, I think, um, which I've already written. So I, I write a bunch of poetry, but uh, I'm just going to make some off the top of my head. So this is a long ancient tradition in Ireland, um, kind of sacred poetry. And um, the poets were obviously once held at either, you know, the same level as kings or very similar. Um, so way at the top of the, you know, the social hierarchy, the poets. And um, yeah, I th I think people, when they hear poetry these days, there's, there's a bunch of trash poetry that's kind of turned away from the tradition. So that kind of can turn people off. They might think you're just like some lovey-dovey, your hair is like angels in the sky, you know. And so that's kind of not so good. Or like brick metaphor is running my heart, then death screaming you know, like weird stuff that's like, oh, so unconventional, so interesting, you know, kind of modern art kind of thing, which is also, I'm not a fan. So, but um, I would be of the poetry tradition, like the kind of more traditional, ancient tradition, um, where it's actually com um, coming from this place of um, connection to the greater, you know, mind of God, you could say, or, you know, like, uh, the where you kind of tune in to the present moment and it just comes through like Bob Dylan or Leonard Cohen would tell you, you know, um, that it's you're kind of participating in it. But ultimately, it's not actually you. It's not me doing it. Ultimately, I'm like the the vessel through which this comes, you know, so I will like hear things and go, oh, my God, that's really nice. I really and I was telling my friend, he's like, who's <laughs> like, I am my own favorite poet, you know, which is kind of funny thing. But it's like, because it kind of comes through me. I'm like, oh, wow, the universe is really talented, you know? So anyway, um, so this is a traditional Irish thing. And I think it's something like our elite and our government have gotten so serious and so boring and bland. And it's important that we can be serious, but that we can also, um, you know, be connected to beauty and have this holistic kind of spiritual grounding in like, wow, we're in the middle of the universe. That's pretty cool. We're spinning around the sun a million miles an hour. We're alive for a while. We have self-consciousness. We have this potential to have this beautiful world and it's being screwed up because and just incredible suffering and wasted opportunity, basically because we don't know who we are. We're, we're out of, our minds are out of control. We're all, we all think we are the voice in the head, but you're not. That's like your secretary. You're the CEO just chill in there. But most of us, we're confused about who we are. And so that's something, ultimately, all of our problems, they'll only be solved to the extent that we can solve this spiritual crisis we're in, where, um, and, you know, all the, you know, the, the world religions are based upon this understanding, as um, Aldous Huxley talked about, the perennial philosophy, that at the core of it, it's all, like, we're all one, it's all many branches of the one tree of life, you know, the universe is one big thing, you know, what would the gaps in between the things be, be made of, if not the universe? So actually, it's like this oneness, and this is this crucial insight. So anyway, so that's kind of my poetry is kind of coming out of that usually. So, uh, and I'm just going to kind of stream of consciousness, speak some poetry. I haven't planned this or anything. So I was going to go live, but it seems, oh, sorry, uh, but it seems um, I need 24 hours. I haven't done it on YouTube before. So, oh, well, I'll do it like this and just put it up. Um, and then uh, a bit of music also. And so I think both... It just feels right, you know, that I think this is a very important time in, in Irish history that which we're going through. And so it's very important that there is a bardic kind of 
celebration and um, blessing and kind of incantation or something. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here, even if it's just for myself. Um, but I think probably a lot of people will share it and hopefully I'll show, you know, some, well, yeah, show you uh, that, you know, I am, if you're voting, then that I'm someone you should be considering. Um, but then also um, just, I think my main thing here is just to share it out if anyone's interested. Um, my love of Ireland and the love we all share for Ireland and um, yeah, give you some cool little thoughts and feelings. So here we go. So, okay. Um, maybe to begin, let's go with a little bit of music, right? Oh no. So I need to change the audio setting, don't I? So you can hear this actually foiled. Um, Cause uh, this should be fine though. Um, audio settings, zoom will otherwise cancel me out. So um Let's see, but we've gone through all of this. Live performance audio. Oh yeah, okay, that's good. So then let's just go turn that on. It's on. Okay, so that should work now. Worst case scenario, I'll play music to myself and then have to never upload this, but sh we should be grand. So I'm gonna play a song. This is actually, you know, technically you'd say a Scottish song, although that the Scots are Gaels, so they came from Ireland. So it's an Irish song really. Um, but even, you know, the stories that it goes way, way, way back which is very fitting for the, the name, the title, Old Lang Syne. So. the field of beauty and love which will power the revolution we need against these crazy disconnected people i guess that's a good point here like why are all these bad things happening to ireland there's people who are doing it for money and power they're just like corrupt and then there's people who are doing it because they're just their ideology or their ignorance they don't have enough information or well, they have the information but they just they want to believe other things and they're lost in these belief belief systems and just detached from reality Either way, ultimately, it's a, a disconnection from source, from life, from the present moment. They're like up in their heads and they're not connected. And so music has this powerful role to like reconnect us, which is, I think Ireland really has to our advantage. I think, you know, um, that's this ancestral obsession with music. What other country has a musical instrument, you know, as this national symbol, you know? So, all right, a bit of poetry, let's see. So. She wakes at dawn after darkness unending, eons locked far down below. There is a light inside and she follows it higher. Mother Ireland wakes to painful skies. Her trees yearn to bloom her bees would be buzzing. Her rivers flow with feeling bright. To have a gentle people, deadly in a fight. All crack and kinch in the rumbling play. Yet her trees that yearn and people burning with passion for the people, for the crack, for the day, 
this good nation is predated by foreign hawks and native predators of darker clay who would turn error into a dollar bill to be traded for some worthless corner or to shill for gargantuan dragons unsatia insatiable appetite gobbling up goodness left and right and Ireland from her hills to her valleys coasts rivers from Jack and Sally to Luke and Emer Quiver Dahi the people just trying to live their lives but blocked at every turn by slave raiding suits who make it so much worse by professing truth love and kindness progressive angels who beneath the garb look like devils. This land is waking. The hand is shaking as the fight escalates and we wonder where it goes. Is it to peace and justice, freedom? But the doers of such darkness will surely not give way. So we wonder where to, whether we win or lose. And yet, let us take heart that in eternal pursuit of goodness and love our, and our own native way of the twinkle in the eye, the turn of phrase, the humble nod, the ways that built every village street, raised the roof from roughshod, every hand that prepared the shillelagh stick or pochine in hidden hills or noble art with monk's wit. All the joy and sorrow of eons past wisening us like fine wine to this end from the start. We are Irish, so we are blessed, no matter what be. But how much more the blessing when we are free. So let us string the harp and string the bow. And let us start with the kyo. And bring it low. So only the saints and sages here then raise its volume to the mountains, dear, the skies and heavens where the hidden host of sacred help is weaving all that we know to have faith that we dance in God's own palm and that Priority number one is to grow and learn in which we are victorious at every turn if we so choose, for we always have that power. Then priority number two is to free error from chains of the mind and the heart 
and material plane to bring the banks and the state and the NGOs and the bureaucracies and every serious reporter who goes scurrying about in fear of what the people know. Let us free ourselves from this farce, bask in the glow of the simple life on this island we all know as the height of beauty of blade of grass and leaf bending trunk of ancient tree weaving rivers that have seen too much or just enough for high consciousness to be so and bloom in this time of strange dystopia may we again light the lamp of learning be the saints and scholars to Europe and earth show just how balance is of all things in bliss of standing serious and firm with a sword in hand then cracking a joke and tapping the foot to the music's command Ireland is even Lim Hu is even Lin Hu we love you well mothering island of such beauty we stand here to defend and see you thrive as our hearts know you can. Not utopia we seek, but a space for the common man, for the woman and child to together stand in noble living free from deceptions command to sow our seeds and live our lives grow and give the gifts God gave us and flow with Ireland and leave her better still than she was when we came here knowing these hills and valleys will remember that in our time were true gales of balance the sacred bells in chime and love of those from every land who follow virtue, extend the hand of friendship and yet to have no doubt that it is our family and Irish tribe above all for whom we shout praise and affection and the warrior cry to fight till the end for what's right and all the way along the journey to love the music and poetry so gifted from above Aaron Gabra Gach Banach Bear Boer Tamwich Igchach Tarash.
Nahaig Ser Shanua. There we are. There's some poetry. <laughs> Whew. All right. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to be making some pizza soon. Not that you needed to know this. So we'll keep this snappy ish. A bit more music. So let's see. What's the song? Good Irish song. Let's see. so pretty I first let my eyes on sweet Molly Malone as she wheeled her wheelbarrow by the streets broad and narrow crying cockles and mussels alive alive oh alive alive oh alive alive oh crying cockles and mussels Alive, alive, oh She was a fishmonger And sure was no wonder For so was the mother And the father before And she weaved her wheelbarrow By the streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and mussels Alive, alive, oh Alive Alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. She died of a fever, and sure no one could save her, and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone, and her ghost weaves its barrow by the streets broad and narrow. Crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. Let's see, what about, oh, what about a little bit of Van the Man? about I'll oh, just keep moving this capo higher shall we yeah so a rebel song And mark what followed and 
what did betide for it being on Christmas morning and for recreation we went on a tramp and we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Vamp and a little wee drummer intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming Says the sergeant. <laughs> Says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas in gold I will slip in your fist, and a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust and drink the king's health in the morning. Mm, the soldier, oh, we lose a very fine life. All peace is blessed with a charming young wife He pays all his debts without sorrow or strife And always lives decent and charming And the soldier he always is decent and clean And the finest of clothing he's constantly seen While other poor fellows go dirty and mean And sup on thin gruel in the morning but says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes For you've only the lend of them, as I suppose You dare not change them at night, for you know If you do, you'll be flogged in the morning And although that we are single and free We take great delight in our own company We have no desire of strange faces to see Although that your offers are charming Then we have no desire to take your advance All hazards and dangers will barter our chance For you would have no scruples for to send us to France Where we would get shot without warning now says the sergeant, I'll have no such chat And I neither will take it from Spalpeen or Brat For if you insult me with one other word I'll cut off your head in the morning But Arthur and I, we soon raised our hearts And we scarcely gave them time for to draw their own blades When a trusty shillelagh came over their heads Bad them take that as fair warning And their old rusty rapiers that hung at their sides We flung them as far as we could in the tide Now pull them out, divos, cried Arthur McBride And temper their edge in the morning And the little wee drummer we flattened his pow And we made a football of his rowdy dow dow and threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll And bat it to tedious returning We paid them off in sacks And we paid no respect for their two bloody backs But lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks And left them for dead in the morning And so to conclude and to finish disputes We obligingly asked if they wanted recruits For we were the lads who would give them hard clouts And bid them look sharp in the morning Followed and what did betide for it being on Christmas morning? Oh, wow. Very good. Now, let's see. Um, one last song. This is one I, I sing uh, to my uh, 
daughter, my little baby daughter, um, and my son, though, he's, he's very, very young now, but, um, but uh, it's a lullaby. So it's a traditional Gaelic lullaby. So um, growing up in Australia, I didn't get any of this, you know. I got Cunis. That was the only <laughs> Irish I ever got from my parents. Um, but, uh, well, my dad told me the rude phrase, but, you know, there you go. Anyway, um, so here it is. And then that'll be that for this fine day of uh, glorious uh, awakening. All right. Bajin Isla me, De Migitori Bajin Isla Miss Fyla me, Yan Bajin Isla me, De Migitori Bajin Isla Miss Fyla me, Yan Bajin be the Bajin Biosak. Bajin Bodak, Bajin Ailami, Bajin Dirak, Bajin Dionta, Bajin Ailamis Phylami, Bajin Ailami, Dame Gigori, Bajin Ailamis Phylami, Bajin Isla me, Dame Gigori, Bajin Isla Miss Fyla me, Bajin be the dark, Bajin Biosak, Bajin Bodak, Bajin Isla me, Bajin Dirak, Bajin Jontak. Bajin I the Miss Phylum me Bajin I the me Brisha Hectori Bajin I the Miss Phylum me Yam Bajin I the me Brisha Hectori Bajin I the Miss Phylum me Yam Bajin be the Bajin Biosak, Bajin Bodak, Bajin Isla me, Bajin Dirak, Bajin Diontak, Bajin Isla Miss Phyla me. Bajin Isla me, Brisha Hictori, Bajisker Bord, Agus Phyla me, Yam. Bajin Isla me, Brisha Hictori, Isker Bord, Agus Phyla me, Yam. Bajin be the Bajin Biosak, Bajin Bodak, Bajin Isla me, Bajin Dirak, Bajin Diontak, Bajin Isla Miss Fyla me. Shout out to Sinead O'Connor. My mum would like listen to that as I was growing up. Um, that was the first I think I heard the Irish language. I was like, what? What's this woman singing? <laughs> like, what is that? It's like, oh, it's Gaelic. Like, huh, okay. Um, but yeah, so maybe one tiny, I, I don't know the full song. I'm going to learn this song, but um, I know just the, uh, I believe I have the lyrics right, but uh, it seems fitting given the, the situation we're in. And so there's the beautiful, you know, song there. Um, but here's another type, type of beauty, a bit more of a powerful, maybe strength vibe. Um, which is also important. Um, so I just know the chorus. O Roshida Bahav Walya, O Roshida Bahav Walya, O Roshida Bahav Walya, Anishur Tachthan Taur. O Roshida Bahav Walya, O Roshida Bahav Walya, O Roshida Bahav Walya, Anishur Tachthan Taur. Ah, Marshin, Shinegadirach, 
um garamil magwev gachenya agis ta ta suligam um uh ta uh tar bua aguin uh inu agis um tabu aguin anish igoni nor amen wij eg ze in gra agis sirsha agis Kind Lauder August Anna Marianach. So there we are. Thanks, everyone, and um, God bless. <laughs>